Hey guys, welcome back to the 1284, Matt here. Um, in this video, I have a couple of things uh, I wanted to show off. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna get into was CGC box came back, but we are going to unbox this together because there is some damage to it. And let's hope the slabs inside um, weren't damaged as well. This is an 11 um, book uh, value tier that I sent in back in March and I just got it back. Um, so I know what books are inside, but we're gonna see what the grades are and we'll go through that. And I wanted to show off a couple other cool things that uh, I did pick up. Um, first one is a card. So this is a Marvel card. And if you can see right here, it is signed by Scotty Young. So this was an actual autograph card in the pack. Um, I picked this up, uh, you know, for about $20. Uh, and this was the, um, I believe it's the Marvel annual one um, from 2016. But uh, nonetheless, it's a signature card and I would really, uh, you know, like to send that in. A couple of book pickups now that we'll talk about. So, first one is Thor. And this is in a, I would say, a, a mid to grade condition. This is a 161. This is the origin of Galactus. So I was able to pick this up for a nice price, courtesy of uh, Comic Pro on Instagram. So shout out to him. I, I, I get a lot of books from him. Same one I was able to get from him is Master of Kung Fu. This is number 16, and the significance of this book, if you don't know, this is the second appearance of Shang-Chi, uh, or Shang-Chi, depending on how you want it pronounced. So um, I was able to pick this up. This is obviously a um, low to mid-grade one, and I don't know if you can see this spine. Maybe this is probably a little bit better, but the spine has seen a little bit better days. But nonetheless, uh, pick up. I did get a book back from uh, Lenny at Spineworks who submitted for me. This was Deadpool number one that I had submitted. This one came back in a 9.4, you know, uh, always hoping for a 9.6 and all, but he pressed this, did a great job on this, and um, we came back with 9.4. So uh, near mint nonetheless, thank you again, Lenny. And the last of the pickups, uh, this one was really more important to me, is Stray Dogs, number one, the blank cover. And this is the first print, and you can tell because the first print is in black, the fifth print is in red as far as blank covers. Why did I want this book? Um, I submitted a bunch of Stray Dog books. This one's a little bit uh, more specific because I am going to submit this one for a uh, sketch um, along with a signature. Uh, one of the things that Trish For Forstner and Tony Fleece are doing is if you send a picture of your dog, they will sketch, or I think it's Trish doing it, will sketch and, um, and sign uh, with CGC. So, um, you know, for me, I really wanted to, to, to do that and get a, a, a picture of not only my dog sketched, um, but have it graded nonetheless to kind of encapsulate that and keep that. So um, that is what I'm going to do on that. And um, I did pick up a couple of little ones. This is the free comic book day, Enter the House of Slaughter, um, as well as a second print of Nice House on the Lake for cover price. Um, I do think that eventually this book is going to go somewhere. So um, I have some first prints and some really nice ones, but we are going to... Uh, see how that one pans out. So let's get into what everybody really wants to see, which is this um, 11 books in here, which I would like to see as well. So let me open this and we will see how we do. And fingers crossed that none of these books have sustained damage because this was really bad as far as um, the type of damage, but I'm hoping that it's just all padding. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys this too, so you can kind of see. So, this book, 
I mean, this is right on the inside. But taking this away and just looking real quick, I think we're gonna be okay. So we're going to see how this ends up coming out. Um, so the first book, see if I get the back. Uh, okay. And we've got, all right, so this is Avengers number 69. This is the first appearance of the Grand Master, and I believe this is also the first appearance of the yeah, Squadron Sinister in Cameo on the last page. It is noted um, on the label. This one, um, I actually submitted two copies, so there's there's another one in here of this. I picked these up for about $30 each on uh, eBay um, and have them both pressed. And we've got seven five. Okay, um, not too bad. Like I said, it, it's, it's a, a, a mid-grade copy and for 30 bucks, um, definitely not too, too bad. This one, and I don't know if you saw one of my, bo of my uh, submissions going in, actually had some uh, marking right on uh, this copy. And um, I tried to see if that can come out. I asked uh, uh, Lenny from Spineworks, but unfortunately um, he said that one is not gonna come out. So rather than try and uh, mess around with it and cause more damage, uh, we just left it in and submitted it. So I can tell from the back of the book, here is number two. And on this one, 7 0. So this one actually, it's funny, uh, did a little worse. And um, not horrible. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not too, too upset. I'll take the other one for 7 5, 7 0, 7 5. Uh, not too bad for a mid, mid grade book. So, um, you know, like I said, $30 each. First Grandmaster, um, definitely a, a good pickup if you're looking for first appearances. And I, I do try and get a number of them. So next one, oh good, these are all backwards. So um, <clears throat> this one, okay, Fantastic 486. This is just, was just a really nice Doom cover. And um, there is nothing significant about this book um, other than it is, uh, what is it, 1969, and it has a Doctor Doom appearance, and it's a nice cover by him. Um, and this book actually has some good value for it in higher grade. I did see a nice copy, uh, raw, so I did get this. It was pressed, and... Wow, 9.4. Okay, so no complaints here. A 9.4 in this book uh, is not a bad... Um, bad copy to have uh, for a 1969 book. So, wow, this this turned out better than what I thought. Um, I would have thought maybe an eight, eight five, um, but uh, but it, it pressed out really nice to a nine four. So uh, that is a nice Doom cover. Next one up. We've got, okay, Jungle Action and Black Panther, number 15. I think I sent in two Jungle Action ones. Um, I don't believe there were really anything uh, major with those books. I, I can tell you this is not any type of big key or anything. But um, like I said, this book is from 1975. And whenever I run into a fairly decent looking uh, one where I mean that by the book is in pretty good condition, um, you know, on some of these books, it, 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 to me, it's, it's worth it. And so I did submit this. It's not any type of big key or anything. Um, it was pressed and 9-0. Nothing wrong with that. I'll take that. I don't think this book has any significant value or anything to it. But uh, nonetheless, um, a 9-0 for a book um, back in 75 is not too bad. And I have another one of these. And I'm trying to remember which number it is, but we will find out shortly. We've 
got. Okay, this is the back. All right, this is another, like I said, here's the other one, Jungle uh, Action and Black Panther, number 22. Um, again, uh, not any type of major key or anything like that, but nonetheless, this was another nice copy. Um, so I picked that up as well with the other one for a couple bucks. It was pressed and 9-2. Okay, like I said, um, anything like this uh, for a 19, this one's a 1976, you know, uh, if you can get it in a higher grade, I don't think it's a bad one. I think the book ran me about uh, $10, $10 or so for a 25 cent book. Um, so I grabbed these two and submitted them. So not too bad, 9092. So far, um, so far so good on this, uh, on this particular uh, batch. So let's see, next one. Okay, so now we're talking a little bit more of a key. So this is Defenders number 17. This is the first appearance of the Wrecking Crew in Cameo. There were some discussions. This is also, I believe, the first Power Man, um, uh, but they don't note that on the label. And maybe I'm, I'm mistaken. If you, if you know if, if I'm right, please leave the comment down below. But I believe this is the, the first Power Man, um, but maybe I'm wrong on this. But it's definitely a cameo of the, uh, the uh, Wrecking Crew. So 1974, uh, another uh, book, had, found a nice copy, had it pressed. This looks pretty darn good. Let's see, I don't think any, these, none of these are going to be 9.8s, but let's just, if I can get into 9s, I'm happy. So on this one, 9.2, white pages, I'm not going to complain. This is a very nice, uh, clean copy of this. I don't think the book, at least at this point, has, um, has a huge price in this uh, particular grade. But like I said, um, depending on if they do the Defenders and if they do some kind of iteration of the Wrecking Crew, this book may have some legs to it. Um, definitely, I think a lot of the Defenders run is overlooked, and if you can get them right now for a good price, this may be the time um, if you're looking to spec. There's nothing obviously guaranteed, but it isn't a bad spec. Okay, let me grab, let's see, this one. All right, okay, another big book. If you guys aren't familiar with this book, this is one to definitely look into. So this is Fantastic 494. This is the first appearance of Agatha Harkness. If you're not familiar with her, you need to be watching WandaVision, which uh, was the Disney Plus series uh, where she made her appearance. This is her first appearance in comics. This is 1970 for this book. Um, I picked up this book on the eBay machine probably about two years ago, maybe a year and a half. Um, really before this one started heating up. Uh, this book has increased greatly. Um, I think the high was obviously when the show was going on and she was, you know, uh, came into, into the picture. Um, I think it's kind of settled down a little bit, but uh, I, was, I did have this copy. I finally was able to get it pressed, clean and submitted. Um, and let's see how we did. Seven, five. Okay, I mean, would have liked it. I would have thought maybe an eight, eight five, but uh, but nonetheless, seven five. I've got to believe, and I'll put some prices on these books as far as the the value, so you kind of have an idea of what they are uh, in around today's range. Uh, I got to believe this book is somewhere between two and three hundred dollars, probably in that grade, somewhere in that vicinity. Um, great book to pick up if you can get a good deal on it. Not a bad grade, obviously, when you start getting into the nines and all. This book has really heated up as far as price, so you're going to start looking at a pretty penny for that, but just depending on what kind of copy. Regardless, I think there's more to her um, than just the WandaVision. I think they're going to still use her, um, so I'm thinking this book is going to see another revival of price um, jumping up. All right, next book. Got. Okay, another big book, Avengers Annual, first appearance of Rogue. This is a newsstand copy. Um, however, this is from 1981, so I'd have to look at the numbers to see if the newsstand, I think this is still where the direct may be 
a little bit more rarer than the newsstand, um, but nonetheless, uh, a nice copy to have. Um, you know, I would love to tell you that this is a 9.8 and I would have loved a 9.8. I don't think so. Um, I'd be really happy if it was, you know, 9.4 to 9.6. Um, definitely needed a good pressing. This one, I believe, was pressed by Josh Avery of Avery uh, Pressing. Um, this was back, I think, must have been back in January um, because I didn't get a chance to send it in until about February into March. So let's see how we did for Rogue. 9-2. Damn. Um, not bad. You know, I would have liked the 9-4, but, you know, I'm not the professional grader. I looked at it. Uh, notes on the label, first appearance of Rogue and Madeline Pryor. Uh, so that is uh, listed. Um, a lot of people just think this is such an ugly cover. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, it is a, a great book to have in the collection. This one came back with off-white pages on it uh, for a 9.2. Um, I'm not sure what the 9.2s are going for. I'm guessing somewhere between... Um, 175 and maybe 250 but I'll put the price up on the last 9.2 that was sold so you could see. Um, I think 9.8 is now over a grand. I think it's probably about maybe it's 10, uh, 1,000 to 1,200. A 9.6 I think was going for I think about um, five to 700 and then you know you can kind of do the numbers on, uh, regardless. So this may be an obtainable grade if you're looking for one. Uh, obviously you're gonna pay a little bit more when you start getting into that nine six uh, range. But nonetheless, I'd say if you can get it, get it now because at some point she will come in. Um, I think they're gonna, you know, when they bring in the X-Men, that's too big of a character. Uh, Gambit, Rogue, uh, I think they will be coming to the MCU. Okay. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. So, next book. Okay, Marvel Teen Up 95 from 1980. This is the first appearance of uh, Mockingbird, noted. Um, I thought this was a decent copy. You know, uh, I didn't think it was going to be a 9.8, but I did have it, um, have it pressed. Uh, the back looks a little rough um, well let's do let's see but nice nice copy at least from what I saw originally when I got it um, did have it pressed and ooh wow that is horrible <laughs> a 5o off white to white pages um, we are definitely going to have to see what happened here. Um, uh, there's definitely something wrong with this book because I can see it here. Well, let me show it to you guys and I'm going to have to look it up and I'll put what the graders notes are, but I'm trying to see if I can give you some good angles and then I will show you, um, what I see and I apologize about the reflection. Um, so what I was looking at is on the back. You see this discoloration? That's some kind of stain, or it looks like it's a stain. Um, yeah, because you can see it down here, really, really large. Um, I don't recall that. I see here, staining discoloration. Um, so I'm gonna have to see but we'll see what the graders notes are. That, they, they, that has to be on the graders notes if it's a 5-0. Um, but I'll post the graders notes. This is truly unfortunate. Um, this is really unfortunate. I don't, you know, man, if I miss this that bad, I don't know. But we're gonna take a look and see, but that really sucks. Um, I mean, honestly, that, that book is probably worthless at that grade um, for that one because a, a 9.8 is maybe 150 to 200 bucks. So I, I've got to believe that book is worth, uh, the, the slab is worth more than the book on that one. <sighs> that sucks. Well, 
<laughs> we got two books left. Let's hope one's a winner. I could really use it. I know, uh, um, uh, I, I know I need one. All right. So, all right. Please let this be much better. Amazing Spider-Man number 298. So this is the uh, first Todd McFarlane of Spider-Man, which is why I got it. This book, um, 298, 299, and, and 300 are really had heated up. Um, I do have 300 in a newsstand. I think that's in a 9-0. I was able to pick this one up from my local comic shop as well. Um, I think I paid $60 around there for, for this copy. It was a nice copy. Nowhere near mint, but definitely a nice copy. I did have it pressed um, and cleaned. And uh, let's see how we do on this one. All right, 9-2. Okay, after the 5-0, I'll take this all day long. Um, great book to have. Uh, I don't think ultimately, unless you're a real 9-8 uh, picky person, that you get into the higher, higher amount. Um, I don't. I think this book is probably somewhere in, in the hundreds. I'll post it. Um, but nonetheless, you know, a nice copy of Todd, Farland, Todd McFarlane's uh, first doing of the uh, Spider-Man. So this one is nice to add to the collection. All right, one book left. Um, let's hope, and I know what this is. This has gotta be Star Wars because I sent in my Star Wars and we haven't done that one yet. So, this, yeah, I was gonna say. This was a really nice copy of Star Wars. Um, you know, if anything had a chance of hitting potentially a 9.8, potentially a 9.8, it was this book. Um, I picked this book up raw, uh, probably in maybe May of last year. Um, it was a hundred bucks. I got it. I thought it looked really nice. Um, I did have it pressed. And uh, if you guys don't know all the different first appearances on this book, you, you know, there's just so many. It is the number one Star Wars book. This is kind of the, the one to get uh, along with, uh, well, obviously, this one's a 30 cender. You want that price variant, that 35. That's the real gem to get. But nonetheless, this is a really great book. Let's see how we did. 9-4. Okay. I'm happy. I am not going to complain. Wow. 9-4 in this one. Um, so, this book in a 9-4 has to be somewhere between six and $900. I'll have to see what it is and I'll post it up. But such a great part. The only thing I don't understand with Star Wars 1, and this is my my better copy. I had submitted one to CBCS, which I've shown off on the channel. Uh, that one was definitely a lower grade and I had pressed it and, and cleaned it, had it, um, had it graded by CBCS. I think it came back a four, four, five, somewhere like that. Um, that one I put up for sale. Um, but this one was my really nice one. What annoys me on this is they do not list any of the first appearances on the label. So Luke Skywalker, you know, any of those um, are not listed on the label. They just list the label as part one of the Star Wars A New Hope movie adaptation. Um, that's the one thing I wish CGC would change. However, a 9-4 on this book, I am thrilled. This made the submission. This is probably, um, well, I don't even have to say, this is the most expensive book in the lot at this grade, uh, for sure. So, um, that's 11 books, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, there were some highs and some lows to this one, that's for sure. Um, but ultimately, you know, the grades are what they are. I will um, obviously post the graders notes for the, uh, the lower uh, Mockingbird one because I want to see where I screwed up. And, uh, you know, you guys need to know that too when you look at this because things like that kind of help um, as you're hunting things to be on the lookout for. But, um, you know, let me know. How'd we do? You know, what books did you like? Which ones, uh, you know, do you uh, recommend? Which ones are you specking on? Um, value tier, literally, from March 
to now it's literally going to be September 1st tomorrow. So you're talking, I mean, five months of this uh, just for, for, the, for these. Uh, that's a long time to wait for, for some books. Um, but nonetheless, you know, we got them back. Thank you guys for watching. I am hopefully, I have four pre-screens still out there, a number of um, books to be signed that hopefully we'll get coming back. And um, if you haven't watched, I just did a box break of the Ant-Man and the Wasp cards um, live uh, over the weekend. Um, so I would definitely tell you, check that out. You're going to see some cool Ant-Man and Wasp cards, uh, Marvel cards, which uh, Upper Deck made. I think they're a great set, um, especially with the buy-in right now. I think it's $60 a box. So take a look at that video. Um, uh, guys, again, leave a like, comment below. And um, please subscribe if you haven't. I do appreciate it. And I do answer and read all the comments. And I do get the messages on Instagram. So I will leave uh, my Instagram handle if anyone wants to reach out to chat or ask any questions. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.